HarperCollins Publishers LLC is one of the world's largest publishing companies and is one of the big five English language publishing companies, alongside Hachette, Macmillan, Penguin Random House, and Simon & Schuster. The company is headquartered in New York City and is a subsidiary of News Corp. The name is a combination of several publishing firm names, Harper & Row, an American publishing company acquired in 1987 whose own name was the result of an earlier merger of Harper & Brothers founded 1817 and Row, Peterson & Company, together with UK publishing company William Collins, Sons founded 1819, acquired in 1990. The worldwide CEO of HarperCollins is Brian Murray. HarperCollins has publishing groups in the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, India, and China. The company publishes many different imprints, both former independent publishing houses and new imprints. Topic history Topic Collins Topic Harper Topic Mergers and acquisitions In 1989, Collins was bought by Rupert Murdoch's News Corporation, and the publisher was combined with Harper & Row, which News Corp had acquired two years earlier. In addition to the simplified and merged name, the logo for HarperCollins was derived from the Torch logo for Harper and Row, and the Fountain logo for Collins, which were combined into a stylized set of flames atop waves. In 1999, News Corporation purchased the Hearst Book Group, consisting of William Morrow and Company and Avon Books. These imprints are now published under the rubric of HarperCollins. HarperCollins bought educational publisher Letts and Lonsdale in March 2010. In 2011, HarperCollins announced they had agreed to acquire the publisher Thomas Nelson. The purchase was completed on July 11, 2012, with an announcement that Thomas Nelson would operate independently given the position it has in Christian book publishing. Both Thomas Nelson and Zondervan were then organized as imprints, or Keystone Publishing Programs, under a new division, HarperCollins Christian Publishing. Key roles in the reorganization were awarded to former Thomas Nelson executives. In 2014, HarperCollins acquired Canadian romance publisher Harlequin Enterprises for C$455 million. Topic management history Brian Murray, the current CEO of HarperCollins, succeeded Jane Friedman who was CEO from 1997 to 2008. Notable management figures include Lisa Sharkey, current Senior Vice President and Director of Creative Development and Barry Winkleman from 1989 to 1994. Topic United States v. Apple Inc. In April 2012, the United States Department of Justice filed United States v. Apple Inc., naming Apple, HarperCollins, and four other major publishers as defendants. The suit alleged that they conspired to fix prices for e-books, and weaken Amazon.com's position in the market, in violation of antitrust law. In December 2013, a federal judge approved a settlement of the antitrust claims, in which HarperCollins and the other publishers paid into a fund that provided credits to customers who had overpaid for books due to the price fixing. Topic U.S. Warehouse Closings It was announced to employees privately and then later in the day on November 5, 2012, that HarperCollins was closing its remaining two U.S. warehouses, in order to merge shipping and warehousing operations with R. R. Donnelly in Indiana. The Scranton, Pennsylvania warehouse closed in September 2013 and a Nashville, Tennessee warehouse, under the name DBA Thomas Nelson, which distributes the religious arm of HarperCollins, Zondervan Books, in the winter of 2013. Several office positions and departments continued to work for HarperCollins in Scranton, but in a new location. The Scranton warehouse closing eliminated approximately 200 jobs, and the Nashville warehouse closing eliminated up to 500 jobs exact number of distribution employees is unknown. HarperCollins previously closed two U.S. warehouses, one in Williamsport, PA in 2011 and another in Grand Rapids, Michigan in 2012. We have taken a long-term, global view of our print distribution and are committed to offering the broadest possible reach for our authors, said HarperCollins Chief Executive Brian Murray. According to Publishers Weekly, we are retooling the traditional distribution model to ensure we can competitively offer the entire HarperCollins catalog to customers regardless of location. Company officials attribute the closings and mergers to the rapidly growing demand for e-book formats and the decline in print purchasing. Topic Notable books HarperCollins maintains the backlist of many of the books originally published by their many merged imprints, in addition to having picked up new authors since the merger. Authors published originally by Harper include Mark Twain, The Bronte Sisters and William Makepeace Thackeray. Authors published originally by Collins include H. G. Wells, Agatha Christie and J. R. R. Tolkien. 
This is a list of some of the more noted books, and series, published by HarperCollins and their various imprints and merged publishing houses. The Art of Loving, Eric Fromm 1956, Master and Commander, Patrick O'Brien 1970, adapted into the 2003 film Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World The Leaphorn and Chi Books, Tony Hillerman 1970-2006, Collins English Dictionary 1979, a major dictionary sharp series, Bernard Cornwell 1981-2006, Frida, a biography of Frida Kahlo, Hayden Herrera 1983, adapted into the 2000 2002 film Frida Weaveworld, Clive Barker 1987, The Paladin Poetry Series 1987 of Gravity and Angels, Jane Hirschfield 1988, The Alchemist, Paulo Coelho 1988, first published in Portuguese as O Alquimista, 1988, subsequent novels in the Take Back Plenty series, Colin Greenland 1990 plus, The Language of the Genes, Steve Jones 1993, The Gifts of the Body, Rebecca Brown 1994, Mike Microsurfs, Douglas Copeland 1995, Thoughts, Tian Watkins 1999, Shuka Saptati, 70 Tales of the Parrot A New Translation from the Sanskrit by A. N. D. Haxer 2000, First They Killed My Father, A Daughter of Cambodia Remembers, Long Ung 2000, Bel Canto, Ann Patchett 2001, A Theory of Relativity, Jacqueline Mitchard 2001, Recent Volumes in the Discworld series by Terry Pratchett Books from 2001 to Present American Gods, Neil Gaiman 2001, Boonville, Robert Mailer Anderson, 2003 reprint, Quicksilver, Neil Stevenson, 2003, Don Quixote, a new translation by Edith Grossman, 2003, Echo, Acquainted with the Night, Christopher Dudney, 2004, State of Fear, by Michael Crichton, 2004, Dark House, Alex Barkley, 2005, Anansi Boys, Neil Gaiman, 2005, The Hot Kid, Elmore Leonard, 2005, Freaky Green Eyes, by Joyce Carol Oates, 2006, Next, Michael Crichton, 2006, Domicilium Decoratus, Kelly Werstler, 2006, ISBN 0-06-089798-8, 8 Pretty Little Liars, Sarah Shepard, 2006, Mr. B. Gone, Clive Barker, Harper, 2007, The Children of Huron, J. R. R. Tolkien, Posthumous, compiled by Christopher Tolkien, 2007, Loving Natalie, A Mother's Testament of Hope and Faith, Beth Holloway, 2007, About Natalie Holloway, The Raw Shark Texts, Stephen Hall, 2007, The Family, The Secret Fundamentalism at the Heart of American Power, Jeff Charlotte, 2008, Going Rogue, An American Life, Sarah Palin, 2009, Solo, Rana Dasgupta, 2009, The Legend of Sigurd and Gudrun, J.R.R. Tolkien, 2009, co-published by Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, Pirate Latitudes, Michael Crichton, 2009, Posthumous Publication, Wolf Hall, Hilary Mantle, 2009, Shattered, The True Story of a Mother's Love, a Husband's Betrayal, and a Cold-Blooded Texas Murder, Catherine Casey 2010. Micro, Michael Crichton 2011, Posthumous Publication. The Dressmaker of Care Kana, Gail Zemek Lemon 2011. A Shot at History, My Obsessive Journey to Olympic Gold by Abhinav Bindra 2011. Go Set a Watchman by Harper Lee 2015. Topic. Harper Children's Books Children's book editor Ursula Nordstrom was the director of Harper's Department of Books for Boys and Girls from 1940 to 1973, overseeing the publication of classics such as Good Night Moon, Where the Wild Things Are, The Giving Tree, Charlotte's Web, Beverly Cleary's series starring Ramona Quimby, and Harold and the Purple Crayon. They were the publishing home of Maurice Sendak, Shel Silverstein, and Margaret Wise Brown. In 1998, Nordstrom's personal correspondence was published as Dear Genius, The Letters of Ursula Nordstrom illustrated by Maurice Sendak, edited by Charlotte Zolotow. Zolotow began her career as a stenographer to Nordstrom, became her protégé, and went on to write more than 80 books and edit hundreds of others, including Nordstrom's The Secret Language and the works of Paul Fleischmann. Zolotow later became head of the Children's Books Department, and went on to become the company's first female vice president. The Chronicles of Narnia series by C.S. Lewis, while not originally published by a merged imprint of HarperCollins, were acquired by the publisher. HarperCollins has published the following notable children's books The I Can Read series for beginning readers, including the Amelia Bedelia, Peggy Parrish, Frog and Toad, Arnold Lobel, and Little Bear, Else Homelin Minerick and Maurice Sendak books, The Warriors series. 
The Pretty Little Liar series, by Sarah Shepard, 2007 present. A series of unfortunate events, Lemony Snicket. A Taste of Blackberries, Doris Buchanan Smith, 1973. Skullduggery Pleasant series, Derek Landy. Bart Simpson's Guide to Life, 1993. International Rights to Dr. Seuss Inherited from Collins, 1950s Present Love That Dog, Sharon Creech 2001. The Giving Tree, Shel Silverstein 1964. Where the Sidewalk Ends Book, Shel Silverstein 1974. The Saga of Darren Sean, Darren Sean 2000-2004 Cirque du Freak Manga Series, Darren Sean and Takahiro Arai 2006-2009 the Dangerous Book for Boys, Khan and Hal Igolden, 2006. Sabriel, Garth Nix, 1995. A Barrel of Laughs, A Veil of Tears, Jules Pfeiffer, 1995. Mr. God, This Is Anna, Finn, pseudonym of Sidney Hopkins, 1974. The Little House on the Prairie series, Laura Ingalls Wilder, 1932-2006. The Wolves in the Walls, Neil Gaiman and Dave McKean, 2003. Monster, Walter Dean Myers, 1999. Coraline, Neil Gaiman and Dave McKean, 2002. Surviving the Applewhites, Stephanie S. Tolan, 2002. The Gollywhopper Games, 2008. Ruby Redfort, series, Lauren Child, 2011. Divergent, Veronica Roth, 2011. The School for Good and Evil, Soman Chenani, 2013 present. Topic. Imprints HarperCollins has over 120 book imprints, most of which are based in the United States. Collins still exists as an imprint, chiefly for wildlife and natural history books, field guides, as well as English and bilingual dictionaries based on the Bank of English, a large corpus of contemporary English texts. On February 8, 2013, it was announced that some parts of the Collins nonfiction imprint would be merged with the HarperPress imprint to form the new William Collins imprint. HarperCollins imprints, current and defunct, including imprints that existed prior to various mergers, include. Topic. Current. Topic. Adult. Topic. Children. HarperCollins Children's Books Harper Festival Harper Teen Harper Teen Impulse Digital Imprint Harper Trophy Amistad Balezer plus Bray Collins Greenwillow Books Catherine Tegan Books Ryo Walden Pond Press Topic Christian Thomas Nelson Grupo Nelson Nelson Books Tommy Nelson W Publishing Group Westbow Press Zondervan Blink Editorial Vita Zonderkids Topic. Audio Harper Audio Cademan, Audiobooks HarperCollins Children's Audio Topic. Bureau HarperCollins Speakers Bureau Topic. Digital HarperCollins e-books Topic. Defunct Topic. Business strategy Topic. Web approach In order to boost book sales and reach the online market, HarperCollins has created a browsing feature on its website, whereby customers can read selected excerpts from books before purchasing. There are some concerns among publishers with this approach because they feel that the online books could be exploited by file sharing. In addition, excerpts of books are also available to mobile phone users. HarperCollins were first to market with an innovative approach to slushpile management with the introduction of the Authonomy website. 
From 2009 to 2010, they operated BookArmy, a social networking site. At the beginning of October 2013, the company announced a partnership with online digital library Scribd. The official statement revealed that the majority of the HarperCollins U.S. and HarperCollins Christian catalogs will be available in Scribd's subscription service. Chantal Restivo Alessi, chief digital officer at HarperCollins, explained to the media that the deal represents the first time that the publisher has released such a large portion of its catalog. Topic. Speakers Bureau The HarperCollins Speakers Bureau also known as HCSB is the first lecture agency to be created by a major publishing house. It was launched in May 2005 as a division of HarperCollins to book paid speaking engagements for the authors HarperCollins, and its sister companies, Publish. Andrea Rosen is the director. Some of the notable authors the HCSB represents include Carol Alt, Dennis Lehane, Gregory Maguire, Danny Meyer, Mehmet Oz, Sidney Poitier, Ted Sorensen, and Kate White. Topic. Harper Academic Harper Academic is the academic marketing department of HarperCollins. Harper Academic provides instructors with the latest in adult titles for course adoption at the high school and college level, as well as titles for first year and other common read programs at academic institutions. They also attend several major academic conferences to showcase new titles for academic professionals. Harper Academic Calling, a podcast produced by the department, provides interviews with authors of noteworthy titles. Topic. Harper Studio HarperCollins announced Harper Studio in 2008 as a new, experimental unit that will eliminate the traditional profit distributions to authors. The long-established author advances and bookseller returns has not proved to be very profitable to either the author or the publisher. The approach Harper Studio is now taking is to offer little or no advance, but instead to split the profit 50% rather than the industry standard 15% with the author. The division was headed by Bob Miller, previously the founding publisher of Hyperion, the adult books division of the Walt Disney Company. Harper Studio folded in March 2010 after Miller left for Workman Publishing. Topic. HarperCollins India HarperCollins Publishers India Private Limited is a wholly owned subsidiary of HarperCollins Worldwide. It came into being in 1992. Topic. Controversies Topic. If I did it If I Did It was a book written by O.J. Simpson about his alleged murder of Nicole Simpson, which was planned as a HarperCollins title, and which attracted considerable controversy and a legal battle over publication. Topic. Ben Collins In August 2010, the company became embroiled in a legal battle with the BBC after a book it was due to publish, later identified as the forthcoming autobiography of racing driver Ben Collins, revealed the identity of the Stig from Top Gear. In his blog, Top Gear executive producer Andy Willman accused HarperCollins of hoping to cash in on the BBC's intellectual property, describing the publishers as a bunch of chancers. On September 1 the BBC's request for an injunction preventing the book from being published was turned down, effectively confirming the book's revelation that the Stig was indeed Collins. Topic. East and West The company became embroiled in controversy in 1998 after it was revealed it blocked Chris Patton's The Last British Governor of Hong Kong book East and West after a direct intervention by the then CEO of News International, Rupert Murdoch. It was later revealed by Stuart Prophet, the editor who had worked on the book for HarperCollins, that this intervention was designed to appease the Chinese authorities of whom the book was critical as Murdoch intended to extend his business empire into China and did not wish to cause problems there by allowing the book to be published. Murdoch's intervention caused both Prophet's resignation from the company and outrage from international media outside of News International. 
Chris Patton later published with Macmillan Publishing, initially in America, where it carried the logo, The Book That Rupert Murdoch Refused to Publish. After a successful legal campaign against HarperCollins, Patton went on to publish the book in the UK in September 1998 after accepting a sum of £500,000 and receiving an apology from Rupert Murdoch. <laughs> e-books In March 2011, HarperCollins announced it would distribute e-books to libraries with DRM enabled to delete the item after being lent 26 times. HarperCollins has drawn criticism of this plan, in particular its likening ebooks, which are purely digital, to traditional paperback trade books, which wear over time. Topic. Omission of Israel from an atlas In December 2014, the tablet reported that an atlas published for Middle East schools did not label Israel on a map of the Middle East. A representative for Collins Bartholomew, a subsidiary of HarperCollins that specializes in maps, explained that including Israel would have been unacceptable to their customers in the Arab states of the Persian Gulf and the omission was in line with local preferences. The company later apologized and destroyed all the books. Topic: <laughs> What the bleep just happened? HarperCollins announced in January 2017 that they would discontinue selling copies of Monica Crowley's book What the Bleep Just Happened, due to allegations of plagiarism. The 2012 book had lifted passages from a number of sources including columns, news articles and think tank reports. HarperCollins said in a statement to CNN's K-File, the book which has reached the end of its natural sales cycle, will not longer be offered for purchase until such time as the author has the opportunity to source and revise the material. Topic see also CoBuild, a research facility set up by Collins in conjunction with the University of Birmingham Harper's Magazine, a separately owned magazine, although begun by the original Harper & Brothers list of largest UK book publishers The Lord of the Rings. HarperCollins is the current non-US publisher of the Tolkien series books in the United States Topic References Topic External links Official website Greenwillow Books Records, 1974-2014